Hey, good morning, folks. This is Jack with Boat Tential. Boy, we got a special, special boat. This is a 25 foot contender, the Bay Boat. It is a 2017. And when I say Bay Boat, you can get in and run this thing to the Bahamas. The reason this is such a special boat, Jimmy Johnson won the Homestead 400. He also won this boat as part of his prize. So it's got zero hours. It's a 2017 contender. And it also has a 250 horse Yamaha four stroke engine, zero hours. Maybe it's got one or two hours for test and that's it. You can see Skegg's never been touched. Uh, I don't even think this boat has ever been in the water. Stainless steel prop, twin power poles, excellent. You're in shallow water, whatever the case is. Put these down, you've anchored the boat essentially. They're fabulous stay in one spot. Down here you see your trim tabs. They go flush up inside and here's all where the ram goes in there. It has Sea Blaze LED underwater lights. This is a hydraulic jack plate. Raise and lower the motor. You're in really skinny water. Excellent for that. You're in deeper water, you drop it down. You don't have to get out and adjust it yourself. It automatically goes down. Here's one of the coolest features of the boat. This is your ladder. Even though this is a relatively not high out of the water boat, it's still difficult to get in and out of, uh, of water. Right here, you've got a step built in and this thing folds up inside. Tucks away when you're running. Really cool. As we go around the boat, you've got this beautiful graphics. They're done by eye catchers out of Isla Mirada, Florida down in the Keys. You go along here, there is a little bit of advertising. You can see the power pole, shallow water anchors, Miami uh, Homestead Speedway. Again, this boat was won by Jimmy Johnson in the uh, Echo Boost 400 down in Homestead this past year. Look at the spectacular graphics. These are tarpon, pretty much based around tarpon. You know, this is a boat that's made for that shitty scowl of water down in the Keys, whatever, fishing tarpon. Sport Trail is the, is the uh, trailer and as you can see, it's all aluminum. Um, it has Kodiak disc brakes. It has the, the torsion axles for this, which are fabulous. You know, you don't have all that rusting and stuff like that. Vortex hubs. This trailer is rated for 7,000 pounds. You can see the fit and finish on this trailer. Look, it's got a step here, non-skid. These are the best front struts to hold the bow of the boat up. Spare tire mounted to it. There are aluminum wheels. As you can see down here, there's no wood on this trailer either. It's all poly, poly wood, starboard type, covered with the, with the carpet. Here's your torsion axles, disc brakes, aluminum wheels. We're up on the, uh, on the deck of the boat. Here's um, a few things I've got opened up. You see it has rear seating here. This also folds down and locks away for platform fishing. Access back into the bilge of the boat right there. Live well here, live well there. So you got twin live wells. Access back here, to great access back into the valves. Bilge pump, pumps for the live well are all located back in there. And of course this is all sealed. Okay, let me show you how the rear seating works. This flips up right there. It's got the uh, real stitching for the monogram for the uh, Echo Boost 400 out of Homestead. So that's a really nice feature. This is a really, really nice feature on the boat. Rigid cooler. It's tucked away under the console seat. All you got to do, release this pin here, pull the cooler out, and flip it up. And it's got a really, really tight seal. This is one of those coolers that keeps ice in there. If you don't open it up too much, you can keep ice in there for a couple days. They're fabulous to have. Drink holders right here, two rod holders. This is a rod holder and a drink holder. The koozie fits right in there perfectly. They're really, really nice when you're out fishing. Look at these seats. Power seats. Now, that makes for comfortable fishing. Okay. We're up here on the console. You see, it's got the suicide nod for steering. If you've never used this, these are fabulous. The boat has not been rigged with any electronics, but guess what? You can put in whatever you want. You don't have to go back in and match somebody's hole and change something out. So that's great. Here's your Lenco trim tabs. Of course, your Yamaha um, ignition switch. Binnacle. 
engine command center right here. All your switches right here for your pumps, lights, etc. Things like that. Four drink holders, two on each side of the console. Two more uh, drink holders on this side and two on that side of the console. These are rod holders right here, stand up. Great. Your compass is here. This is your anchor light attachment. That's the base for it. We do have the anchor light. It's in the back in the console there. Okay, again, the boat is a monogram with the EcoBoost 400, Homestead, Miami. Jimmy Johnson won this boat as part of his prize package. Okay, we're filming inside the console here. I want you to specifically look at the wiring on this boat. It's like a schematic out of a, a phone or something like that. I mean, it's just perfect. Your switches are all up here on top. In here. It's not just a bundled up wire mass of, of wires. It's an actual, like a schematic. So if you have a problem with electrical, it's easy to trace. You probably won't have problems with electrical because of the way it's built. If you look up here, these are all your switches on the other side of the console. Everything's right where it should be, tight, waterproof, all that. Uh, battery switches are inside there. Coming outside the console, we have a drink cooler here. Again, it's that thermal insulated. Drinks are going to stay nice and cold. They're not going to, the ice is not going to melt in like an hour or anything. This is removable so you can open the console completely also, as you can see here. In front of the console, we have the fish box in the deck right here. And this is also sealed, as you see all the way around. So you don't have all that garbage going in and out when, you're, when you have your fish in the box. Storage here. Forward seating on the 25 contender. Flip this cushion up right here, and you have another hatch here. Again, dry storage. Really nice concept. More storage. This boat's got a ton of storage. This is the access down into the bilge. You do have another ice box, fish box right there. They've thought of everything on this boat. Going forward here, your anchor locker. It did not come with an anchor. But that's not a big deal. Pop-up cleats, so when you're walking on the deck, it's nice and flush. You're We're listing this boat anything. on Botential right now. You can list your boat for sale on Botential for free. We don't charge you. Get your own pictures, upload it. If you do Boat Trader, it's going to cost you like 70 bucks to have a good number of pictures on there for about a week, and then you got to renew it every time. You can put it on Botential.com for free. It'll get picked up on the internet all over. If you're interested in that, or you're interested in this boat, my name's Jack. Give me a call, 954-520-9751. And keep looking, we'll have more boats up on Botential. Thanks a lot.